we're the uh, Utah Patriot Guard Riders, and we're here to honor these uh, veterans as they head off to Washington, D.C. I can tell which one is the best looking, but I don't know which yeah, well, one is the oldest. That's, uh, it's not the oldest. Uh, yeah, that's the best yes, looking. right. No, it it is the oldest. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, I'm the oldest, then him, then. And he's the strong, silent type, right? Well, well he's a silent. He's silent. <laughs> <laughs> Big day for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wooing these kids today. Show them the way around. <laughs> We're on the honor flight this morning early, leaving from Salt Lake City with these veterans who are going for the trip of a lifetime back to Washington, D.C. We can't wait to show you what they experience. So we have a special something going on with us right now. We have mail call for each of our veterans on this flight. Robert H. Brown. John Riggs. John Simons. John Simons. Roger. So you, what years were you doing this? Okay, well, they call yours the greatest generation. You feel like the greatest generation? No, not really. I think there's a lot of boys that uh, were there after me, Vietnam and all these. They disturb as much as we do. They did a great job. When you come to a memorial like this, what do you feel in your heart? Well, <laughs> brings tears all the way. It's a bit of a sad situation, but it was great. great. <laughs> It all makes your heart kind of blow up a little bit, you know. Really. Once you did, I was thinking I deserved it. What was your favorite part? Uh, Arlington Cemetery. Changing the guard. Changing with the guard. Yeah. Guards! Thanks for your service. Halt! 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 Ready? Thanks. Present arms. Port arms. Ready. Thanks. Hats on your orders. Hold and orders. Remain as direct. Order. Excellent. Ready. Face. Present. Arms.
I'm Bob Evans here in Washington, D.C. on day two of the Utah Honor Flight uh, Experience. We're at the Air Force Memorial. I've been to D.C. before, but not with a bunch of other veterans. A lot of us have a lot in common. I got wounded a lot. Did you? How many Purple Hearts? <laughs> Three. Three Purple Hearts? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And uh, it could have been a fourth, but uh, I didn't know I qualified for it until years later. Was it worth it? Yeah. Silver Star. I got one up there, Rodney M. Davis, at the uh, Medal of Honor awardee, and uh, he saved my life. I was a uh, first day in country, and uh, Operation Swift, and a grenade come flying in at uh, our hole, and he jumped on it and gave his life. And he taught me more that one day about being a leader than uh, all the book learning in the world could have done. That no sacrifice was too great for your men. We are now at Fort McHenry, famous for the Battle of Baltimore in which the Americans repelled the British Navy and inspired Francis Scott Key to pen the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner. This is our last stop on our Utah Honor flight this time. We anticipate a hero's welcome for these old warriors when we get back to Salt Lake City.